All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is a Woman's Fake. $24,000 check fails miserably. I'm sure it would have. Check it out. I guess, uh, you know, depending on what the check was actually for, right? Um, I guess how she also presented herself, uh, etc. I mean, these are things that could possibly, you know, get you through some of these situations. But, uh, but unfortunately, uh, the check was fake. So uh, I'm not trying to give her any type of help here. Um, but all right, let's get it. Let's check it out. On September 26, 2023, officers responded to a pawn shop to investigate a potential fraud. A pawn shop? So what's, she, what's going on? She's trying to cash in. $24,000 counterfeit check. Hello. Yeah, she trying to cash in? Um, what's this all about? Um, I had received a check in the mail, and it was supposed to be a payback out from my back pay. For what? Unemployment. You uh, expect that check for almost $24,000? For unemployment? I wasn't, not really. What, were you expecting a check at all? I knew I was supposed to be getting a check, but I didn't think they were supposed to be that much. Okay. 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 What car did you show up in? It was a Mazda. And why did they leave? Because we was running late picking up my kids from school. All right, so why didn't you go pick up your kids from school then? Because I had told them I was coming back about five o'clock. Well, but why didn't why wouldn't you have just brought this to a bank? Before then, if that was the case. Okay. Huh. I mean, something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, this, yeah. They're saying this is a fraudulent check. I don't know. I don't know the difference. Like by simply running the numbers on the check itself, uh, you pretty much find this out instantly. Like specifically, if you are a like an entity that generally cashes checks regularly. I want to call up charge. Okay, you can get a yeah, late unit. Three forty-five, two thirty-two. This is the check you tried to use. That's the copy of everything. Hey, we're going to get into the, the meat and potatoes in this year. I know you're kind of wondering what's going on. Before I do that, because I've got questions I want to ask you, i got to read you your rights. Doesn't mean you're in trouble. Yes, it does. Absolutely. <laughs> it absolutely means that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand each of the rights I just read to you? Yes. Okay. Okay, if she said yes, she understands. Now, if she speaks again, she didn't understand. Um, having your rights in mind, which is what I just read to you, do you want to talk to us and answer questions? I just want to know, like... I would love to explain it to you, but I, the only way I can talk to you is if you agree to talk to us yes, after being yes, advised your rights. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> what, what's going on? We're, we're, we're here. You're here. The check's here. What, give me, tell, me, tell me what happened. Basically, okay, I received a check in the mail that was supposed okay. to be for back pay. When did you okay. receive it? Last week. Where? At your house? Yes. Okay. So, I haven't been staying home, honestly. And I called my aunt and I was asking her, like, hey, have I got any meals? And she was like, yo, you know, you got a couple of. So your aunt stays with you? Yes. Okay. I stayed while I stayed with you. Stay, aunt. That's your aunt. Okay. Yeah. All right. So she was like, that I had a few pieces of meal in this and the third. So I had went to go pick it up. Okay. So after that, that's when um, I noticed that the check had came. Okay. So I was like, oh, well, you know, boom. So last week when I picked it up, I never ended up cashing it because of, due to my right schedule. I always got off work late. Okay. And so then after that, that's when I had um came in today because I was off yeah. and to cash the check. And when I tried to use my photo ID on my phone, they was like, no, I needed a physical ID. So I had went and got a physical ID and this happened. So that check was for what? Exactly. For unemployment. Unemployment. Have you ever gotten unemployment before? No, I applied once. But and you thought that, that unemployment gives people $24,000? Is that what you thought? Is it, is it a check from the government? Like, I never received anything, never heard anything goes back, so it was just like... So this is the first time you've ever done unemployment, filed for it or anything like that? You've never received checks before for unemployment or anything? This is Correct. the first one? Yes. Okay. Where's the envelope that that came in? Do um, you have it? It was supposed to have been up front if they didn't move it. Okay. Um, do you remember who it came from, what was on the envelope? It was like, it was a blank envelope with the clear slip and it was a paper in front of it. And then like when you unfold it, it was like the check, the rest of the, well, you know how like you rip off a check? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. That's how it was. When you filed for unemployment, how'd you do it? Uh, 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 what, what site did you go to? Guys, I don't know if this is just ignorance, guys. I'm, guess, uh, I'm sure if you live in the United States of America, you've at one time, like specifically if your credit is, is decent, um, at one time they have they would have sent you something in the mail, like a check with your name on it, and it says a name, and if, as soon as you cash it, you have a certain amount of time to basically pay back that, that debt to some loan shark entity, basically, if you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm wondering if it could be that type of thing, but I'm not sure that they would blindly start sending out $24,000. Right? I'm, I'm highly concerned here. It could be ignorance. Um, as of right now, it doesn't seem extremely malicious. Uh, or she's just that good at just, you know, you know defrauding people. What did you receive? Did you get like an email after you applied? Did you receive anything? I had basically received a letter saying that I had to submit some more on... Um information in but that was the only thing it once i had not submitted everything that was it did you submit the paperwork yes okay okay I that was that. i did it online like at the time i was doing everything online but how i had like new to do like the unemployment stuff my friend was telling me about it mm -hmm. so okay she... did you ever receive an approval or a denial from them for unemployment? I basically, I really didn't too much to hear nothing else. And then it was like, I had um, started doing hair, so it was like, I wasn't really too focused on it. There's not really anything about this that's not fishy. You know what I mean? None of this makes sense. All right. Um, we're asking you questions because we're trying to gauge where you're at as far as what you're going to tell us and how truthful you're going to be. But I'm going to tell you right now, okay. not a darn thing that's come out of your mouth has made any sense. Okay. Oh, $24,000 check from unemployment. Weird. Okay. 2019, you applied for unemployment. Is that what you said? No, it wasn't. I wouldn't even say it was 2019. I want to say it was 2020. Okay, so let's say it's 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's three years later. Okay. It's 2023. Mm -hmm. almost 2024. Oh, guys, I, for some reason, I'm guessing I didn't hear the date. Oh, yeah, this is weird. And you receive a check for supposedly what you She's applied good, for guys. three years prior. And I'm going to tell you right now, unemployment doesn't give lump checks, mm -hmm. okay? Um, unemployment is a payment, See, as if you were working, I know. okay? Mm -hmm. And those checks don't come from the treasury, mm -hmm. okay? No, but I'm letting you know that I know that, uh, well, okay? I, Wait, the check is from the, oh, oh, guys. Okay. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't know, that, like, I never received unemployment, I never got a check from treasury <laughs> yeah. or anything, so this is, like, my first time actually receiving something like this. I. I promise okay. you, I'm not lying to so, you. Just, just so you know, for four years, I did fraudulent investigations mm -hmm. for the department. And I saw stuff like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll, and I'll tell you right now, the reason we're asking you this, he said we're gauging uh, how truthful you're going to be. I'll tell you right now, this is your chance to be honest because I know exactly what's going on. Um, I can call it exactly like I've seen it every other time before. Somehow, someone came in contact with you. A male, probably the male that's sitting in your car out there in the passenger seat, the black Chevy Malibu. And that person convinced you that you need to go in here and you need to cash this check. And then payment would be to receive a portion of that check while they get the other. You being a single mom, I don't know if you're getting paid a lot right now. I'm not going to worry about that. But you would get a portion of that money. And oh, he's good. They would get the rest. And all you had to do was go in here, show your ID, and here you go, and this is what you got to say, and these people will buy it. And I say that because I recently arrested someone not too long ago for the same similar type of thing here. So, with that being said, we already know the person out in the car because I don't know if you know this or not, but this place has video cameras. Mm -hmm. So they come, or I'm sorry, you come here, and they see exactly what cars you come in and out of. Mm -hmm. And they see what car is coming at the same time that you come. Right. Well, that car was here earlier with you. Right. So it's right. odd that it's back now, and there's a guy that's just been sitting there waiting well, actually, in the passenger seat. <laughs> now, my, my question is, is, did this guy contact you through, like, Instagram or Facebook or what? And what did he promise you? Because and maybe he told you that, yes, this is 
this is legit and you know this is what it is guys i think i need to well i don't, don't want to hang out on the dark side of societies guys i don't want to do that but i've never i could have never in my head put together this this masterminded plan here all right so no when i say ignorance earlier no this is absolutely what happened here but i'm telling you right now i know you're full of it um they try to do this whole thing all the time with people we're like here this is this is what it is this is what you're going to tell them that way it sounds legit or tries to sound legit. The problem is, is that treasury check, first off, it's fake as heck. There's there's you nothing about that check that's even remotely much. real. You wouldn't get a check from the treasurer anyway that comes in a blank envelope in the mail three years later, and then you claim it's unemployment. So you can sit here and tell us all day long that this is what you believe it is, or this is what you think it is, or whatever story they concocted for you. But ultimately, you need to tell us who the person is out there, how they contact you and everything else. Maybe we can help you out. I'm not promising we can, but well, this is your chance. I mean, listen, they're not going to help you out. You're going to jail, number one. But if you give them information, hey, sure, right? Uh, maybe they won't charge you with the obstructing. To be honest, because I'm telling you right now, I already know you're lying. I want to be completely honest with you. Uh -huh. The person that's in the car, that's my little brother. He's a minor. Okay. Right. He's 17. Okay. He has absolutely nothing, nothing to do with this. Okay. That's what I'm going. I'm I promise you, I'm completely honest with you. Okay. Okay. Number two, the check that came in the mail, basically, my friend helped me apply for unemployment. Uh, she told me, basically, like, you go uh, on his website, you do geez. such, 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 and that was it. So, so you're gonna stick with that? Yeah, that that's what came she's in doing. the mail. Yeah, that's what you're sticking with. Cause mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now, we're getting to a point where there's a, there's gonna be a line, and once we meet uh -huh. that line of our yeah. patience with this, mm -hmm. there's gonna be no going back. I mean, bro, bro, listen, 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 listen. As soon as you read the rights, it was basically no, no going back. All right, that's what that was. But I, mean, I get it. Get as much information as humanly possible uh, to support your case on camera. Right, I get that. Um, but let's let's not let's not lie to the people here, bro. You were going no matter what. As soon as you read those rights, she was she was getting arrested regardless. I can give you my friend information that helped me do everything. But you can't you can't show us anything about anything that you applied for, any website, any email. Nothing anything. that said you were ever going to get money back, which doesn't make sense. You'd get it back from the treasury anyway. A big lump no, sum of twenty-four thousand dollars three years later after you filed. It doesn't make any sense. That makes there's going to be no they're not sense just whatsoever. Send you a check without some sort of notification, especially for that amount. And with unemployment, you get approved or you get denied. I've done unemployment before back in the day. You get approved, you get denied, but it's all notifications to your email in the mail. You have documentation for everything because that's that's a government entity and they have to keep records of everything and you get notifications of every decision that they make, but you can't show us one piece of it, documentation. That's, that's what I'm saying to you. I didn't do everything by myself. My friend helped me. I could give my friend information. I could give you a name who helped me with it, everything. I just... I don't, I don't want to like guys, that. listen. I don't think anyone doesn't believe that at one time she was unemployed and she went to do this, but that's not the case. The case is, where did this check come from? You're kind of, you know, you're talking about one thing, but what's happening at hand is completely the opposite. So yes, I'm sure you can give the number and contact information to the friend who helped you file the unemployment, but that is not what we're talking about. Where did this check come from? I can give. All the person contact information. Your friend? Yes. Okay. What are they going to do? They're going to tell me, oh, yeah, I helped her file for unemployment? Right. I'll tell you what. i tell you what. Give me your friend's information. While we're here with you, we're going to call her. We're going to see what she says. Like I said, I've done this for a long time. I did this for four years. All kinds of stuff. The only thing that ever changed was the names of the people that did it. That's it. It's the only That's thing that ever crazy, changed. That's crazy, bro. Because I can look at that, that check right there, and I can tell that that is beyond fake. It's laughable. Hey, listen, uh, I've got a question for you. We're down here with uh, uh, a uh, young laughing. lady who gave me your number and your name. 
Did you ever uh, assist her uh, years ago or anything with uh, trying to help her file for unemployment? Did she did she mention anything to you about did, have you re, have you received any checks or anything like from the U.S. Treasury? I mean, you don't remember where you went through to apply for those? Do me a favor. I gotta check them out here. Oh. I can make that with those. Okay. Well, we're here with her. Um, she's here with a uh, a fake check from the Treasury. So we're we're trying to figure out. She's trying to basically throw you under the bus, saying that you're the one that. Was the one that showed her how to do all this and, and friendship ruined and get this and everything. So, um, she gave us your number and your name because she's trying to get herself out of trouble. Do you know what you're going to do? So, <laughs> he said all of the right things <laughs> to turn the friend against her. So the friend would then give information. You said all the right. See, this is why you don't talk. I, I don't know. I all of this. I've been out there talking to the employees. I don't know what you've been talking, Officer Dutchman, about. Officer Honey. What I can tell you is between the two of them, they have close to like 25 years of experience. Amazing. Like doing this type of stuff. Okay. So, like, this isn't new. I have a history with financial crime myself. And in my experience, professionally, I can tell you right away that that's a good check. There's a lot of red flags. Guys, show it to us. And you said that that, uh, that came in an envelope? Yes. Okay. And then, yeah, because I asked these guys, and they don't have the envelope, so. Um, did it possibly yeah, cost the trust? Yeah, they probably did, because the envelope was left on the counter. Okay. Right, I'll have to ask them about it. So you spent a while talking to Officer Dutchman here. No, you spent a while talking to Officer Coney. Who, who, draw, or who brought you here? How did you get here? I drove myself here. You drove yourself in what car? Uh, Malibu. Who else was in the car with you? My little brother. He's gone. Did, mm -hmm. Didn't we he have left. this whole... Is there a reason that he left? He had to go pick up my kids. Did we know kids. that already? Okay. Um, based off of what we have here, okay, you're under arrest. Can I call someone? Um, what do you want to call? Let's go ahead and get your handcuff first. Mm -hmm. We'll call when we got to okay? Yeah, that one? Guys, this, this this arrest was absolutely warranted. Uh, they're in, they're currently in Tallahassee. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely warranted. All right, before you get in my car, get anything that's gonna poke me, stab me, stick me. Oh, nothing illegal. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the envelope. Oh. Oh, look at that. That says FIS Output Solutions. That's my from the U.S. Treasury. I can tell you that from the back. Okay. All right, go ahead and take a seat. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're going to have to kind of reach in. You, like. It's like this mud. Like, I'm going to slide if I. No, I'll hold on to you. Uttering forged documents in Grand Theft. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, listen. Personally, I'm always going to say don't just don't speak because after watching so many of these now, there's no benefit in you actually saying a single thing. There's not a single benefit in you coming out and saying, you know what? This is all that happened. Don't even bother. Don't even do it. Lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> as soon as they read the rights. And listen, I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to say, listen, uh, all these people that are doing all these things should get away. I don't think that they absolutely should, but I do think that uh, regardless, uh, the Constitution still stands, guys. Right? Um, does she deserve to be in a situation she's absolutely in? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. Why would you get a check for $24,000 in the mail that you were not expecting? Okay, keep that in mind here. You're not just going to get a random check like that out of nowhere. Unless it's been like willed to you, that could be random, right? Um, so, you know, or you've been added to some type of trust or, or something, something, but you would have known that you see what I'm saying here. So you're not going to really ever get a check specifically in that amount without you being notified. So it, it's a little fishy. And again, you should have went to your bank. That's where you should have gone. Just a thought guys, but I think she knew that the bank was going to be probably the way to, uh, uh, they were actually going to check everything out instantly before putting that into your account. Right. But all right, listen, um, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical movie reviews with Mr. L Boyd, along with 
Mr. Oh Boy Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. <laughs>